Naval Ravikant is an entrepreneur, investor, philosopher, and avid reader who has gained a massive following for his insights on life, business, and happiness. In this book, Jorgensen distills the wisdom of Ravikant into a series of bite-sized lessons, covering topics such as wealth creation, decision-making, happiness, and more. The introduction sets the stage for the book by introducing the central theme of Naval Ravikant's philosophy, the quest for freedom. According to Ravikant, freedom is the ultimate goal of life, and everything we do should be in service of this goal. This freedom can be attained through financial independence, autonomy, and self-mastery, among other things. Jorgensen begins by describing the origins of the book, which started as a series of tweets that he compiled into a blog post. The post went viral, leading Jorgensen to expand on it and turn it into a book. He explains that the book is not just a collection of Ravikant's ideas, but also a reflection of Jorgensen's own journey of discovery and growth. The introduction also provides a brief biography of Naval Ravikant detailing his upbringing, career, and personal philosophy. Ravikant's experiences as an immigrant, entrepreneur, and investor have shaped his worldview and his approach to life. His willingness to question conventional wisdom and seek out new ideas has made him a thought leader in the tech industry and beyond. Overall, the introduction sets the tone for the book by emphasizing the importance of freedom and personal growth. It serves as a powerful invitation to readers to join in the quest for greater self-awareness, self-mastery, and ultimately, freedom. Whether you're an entrepreneur, investor, or simply someone seeking a more fulfilling life, The Almanac of Naval Ravikant is a must-read that will inspire and guide you on your journey. Part 1 Wealth Chapter 1 Building Wealth In this chapter, Naval Ravikant shares his thoughts on how to build wealth. He emphasizes that wealth is not just about money but also about freedom and time. According to him, building wealth is about creating assets that generate income passively and reduce your reliance on your time. Naval suggests that the best way to build wealth is through entrepreneurship or investing. He believes that entrepreneurship is the most reliable path to wealth creation as it allows you to leverage your time and effort into creating a valuable asset that can generate income passively. However, entrepreneurship is not for everyone, and Naval advises those who are not interested in starting a business to focus on investing. Naval advocates for investing in index funds, which are low-cost funds that track the overall performance of the stock market. He argues that investing in individual stocks or trying to time the market is a losing game as it requires a lot of knowledge and expertise. By investing in index funds, you can benefit from the overall growth of the economy without having to worry about individual stocks. Naval also stresses the importance of saving and living below your means. He recommends saving at least 50% of your income and investing it in assets that generate passive income. He believes that by reducing your expenses and saving aggressively, you can build wealth much faster than by focusing on earning more money. Naval concludes the chapter by emphasizing that building wealth is a long-term game that requires patience and discipline. He advises the reader to focus on creating assets that generate income passively and reduce their reliance on their time. He also stresses the importance of staying humble and avoiding the trap of lifestyle inflation. In summary, Naval Ravikant's advice on building wealth focuses on entrepreneurship, investing, saving, and living below your means. He emphasizes the importance of creating assets that generate income passively and reducing your reliance on your time. By following his advice, the reader can build wealth over the long term and achieve financial freedom. Chapter 2 Building Judgment In this chapter, Naval emphasizes the importance of developing good judgment which he defines as the ability to make good decisions in complex and uncertain situations. He believes that good judgment is not just an innate talent but a skill that can be developed through practice and experience. Naval suggests that the best way to build good judgment is by exposing yourself to a wide range of experiences and ideas. He recommends reading widely and learning from a variety of disciplines such as history, philosophy, psychology, and economics. By exposing yourself to different perspectives, you can develop a more nuanced understanding of the world and make better decisions. Naval also emphasizes the importance of learning from your mistakes. He believes that failure is not a negative experience but an opportunity to learn and improve. By reflecting on your mistakes and understanding what went wrong, you can develop a better understanding of yourself and the world around you. Naval suggests that building good judgment requires a willingness to be wrong. He believes that by embracing uncertainty and being open to new ideas, you can develop a more flexible and adaptable mindset. He recommends developing a sense of curiosity and a willingness to challenge your own beliefs and assumptions. 
Navel also stresses the importance of developing a long-term perspective. He believes that good judgment requires an understanding of the long-term consequences of your actions and decisions. By thinking beyond short-term gains and losses, you can make better decisions that align with your values and goals. In summary, Naval Ravikant's advice on building good judgment focuses on exposing yourself to a wide range of experiences and ideas, learning from your mistakes, embracing uncertainty, developing a long-term perspective, and being willing to challenge your own beliefs and assumptions. By following his advice, you can develop a more nuanced understanding of the world and make better decisions in complex and uncertain situations. Part 2. Happiness Chapter 3. Learning Happiness In this chapter, Naval Ravikant shares his thoughts on happiness and how to achieve it. He argues that happiness is not a destination but a journey, and it is something that can be learned and cultivated. Naval suggests that the best way to learn happiness is by focusing on the present moment and embracing the present experience. He believes that happiness comes from being fully engaged in what you are doing and being mindful of your thoughts and feelings. By focusing on the present moment, you can experience a sense of flow and contentment. Naval also emphasizes the importance of gratitude in learning happiness. He suggests that by being grateful for what you have, you can cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment. He recommends developing a daily gratitude practice, where you take time to reflect on the things in your life that you are thankful for. Naval argues that happiness comes from within and is not dependent on external circumstances. He suggests that by focusing on your internal state and developing a sense of self-awareness, you can cultivate a deep sense of happiness that is not influenced by external factors such as money or status. Naval also suggests that happiness comes from living a life of purpose and meaning. He believes that by aligning your actions and goals with your values and beliefs, you can create a sense of purpose and direction in your life. He recommends developing a clear sense of what you want to achieve in life and taking steps to move towards that goal. In summary, Naval Ravikant's advice on learning happiness focuses on being present, practicing gratitude, developing self-awareness, and living a life of purpose and meaning. By following his advice, the reader can cultivate a deep sense of happiness that is not dependent on external circumstances. Happiness is a journey, and by focusing on the present moment and aligning your actions with your values, you can learn to live a fulfilling and meaningful life. Chapter 4. Saving Yourself In this chapter, Naval Ravikant emphasizes the importance of taking care of yourself first before trying to help others. He believes that by prioritizing your own well-being, you can become a better and more effective person in all aspects of your life. Naval suggests that the best way to save yourself is by developing a daily practice of self-care. He recommends taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional health by practicing good habits such as exercise, meditation, and journaling. By taking care of your own needs, you can become more resilient and better equipped to handle the challenges of life. Naval also stresses the importance of setting boundaries and saying no to things that do not align with your values or goals. He believes that by prioritizing your own needs and saying no to things that drain your energy or time, you can create more space in your life for the things that matter. Naval argues that by saving yourself first, you can become a better and more effective person in your relationships and interactions with others. He suggests that by taking care of your own needs and living a fulfilling life, you can become a source of inspiration and positivity for others. Naval also emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for your own life and avoiding the trap of victimhood. He believes that by taking ownership of your life and making proactive choices, you can create a sense of agency and control that leads to greater fulfillment and happiness. In summary, Naval Ravikant's advice on saving yourself focuses on developing a daily practice of self-care, setting boundaries, saying no to things that do not align with your values or goals, taking responsibility for your own life, and becoming a better and more effective person in your relationships with others by prioritizing your own well-being. You can become more resilient and better equipped to handle the challenges of life and create a fulfilling and meaningful existence. Before we continue, we would like to inform you that we release these summaries in audio format on Spotify before we release them on YouTube in video format, with subtitles. We have also created a goldmine of information which you can get exclusive access to by supporting us on Patreon. You get in-depth summaries plus scripts, usually twice the length of our YouTube content, a list of the top 20 key takeaways and exercises, summary requests, and more. Thank you for the support and don't forget to hit the like button. Chapter 5. Philosophy In this chapter, Naval Ravikant emphasizes the importance of philosophy in developing a clear understanding of the world and our place in it. He believes that philosophy provides a framework for understanding the nature of reality. And the human experience, Naval suggests that the best way to approach philosophy is to view it as a practical tool for living a better life. 
He believes that philosophy is not just an academic pursuit but a way of thinking that can be applied to everyday life. He recommends reading widely and learning from a variety of philosophical traditions to develop a more comprehensive understanding of the world. Navel argues that philosophy can help us answer some of life's biggest questions, such as the nature of reality, the meaning of life, and the nature of consciousness. He suggests that by developing a clear understanding of these questions, we can gain a sense of perspective and meaning that leads to greater fulfillment and happiness. Navel also stresses the importance of developing a personal philosophy, a set of beliefs and values that guide your life. He suggests that by reflecting on your experiences and beliefs, you can develop a clear sense of what you stand for and what you want to achieve in life. Navel recommends that people should focus on developing practical philosophies that they can apply to their daily lives. He believes that philosophy should be a tool that helps us navigate the world and make better decisions, rather than an abstract pursuit with no real-world application. In summary, Naval Ravikant's advice on philosophy emphasizes the practical benefits of developing a clear understanding of the world and our place in it. By viewing philosophy as a practical tool for living a better life and developing a personal philosophy, we can gain a sense of perspective and meaning that leads to greater fulfillment and happiness. Philosophy can help us answer life's big questions and develop a framework for making better decisions in everyday life. Conclusion Take Action the conclusion of the Almanac of Naval Ravikant emphasizes the importance of taking action and applying the principles discussed throughout the book to your own life. Eric Jorgensen encourages readers to use the book as a guide to live a fulfilling and meaningful life by implementing the strategies and ideas discussed by Naval Ravikant. Jorgensen also highlights the importance of embracing uncertainty and taking risks in pursuit of your goals. He suggests that by taking action and being willing to fail, you can learn and grow in ways that lead to greater success and fulfillment. Finally, Georgensen emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and growth, urging readers to never stop seeking knowledge and new experiences. He suggests that by embracing curiosity and a growth mindset, we can continue to evolve and improve throughout our lives. In summary, the conclusion of the Almanac of Naval Ravikant emphasizes the importance of taking action, embracing uncertainty and risk, continuous learning and growth, and applying the principles discussed throughout the book to your own life. By implementing these strategies and ideas, readers can live a more fulfilling and meaningful life and continuously improve and evolve over time.